we have this issue i just installed my davinci right now as you can see i just installed my davinci and this ui is the problem you see sorry this ui is the problem it's not always like this and you know this has been a problem for me personally because i have done uh, i installed the 18.0 version just now and it was like this so i was thinking that this problem is from my system or so because i've been seeing some tutorials on youtube that is doing well and the interface is good like normal the normal interface we all know so after much tweaking i was able to figure out the problem so there are a couple of things that could affect it but i will show you everything here then if also you are new to davinci i'll be doing tutorials on davinci how you can go about it you understand there are some extra things i'm going to show you in this tutorial so stay tuned so to fix this problem to fix this problem this ui problem it is called ui uh, um user interface sorry it is called ui in user interface so to fix this problem the first thing you need to do is you come here now when you go to workspace you come to here you see what they write here reset ui layer you right click it you see it's not working it's not working but they say reset so like to go back to the normal now if you come to presets you see this is once you've saved and i've not saved anything i just installed this i've not done any work you can see i've not installed anything i've not done anything all my work has not come i just installed this now now how can i fix this problem now this is the simple way make sure you are you are on windows i'm on windows here so i don't know how to go about it on mac if you're a mac user but this is window now you minimize you go to your desktop you right click now i'm using windows 11 i'm using windows 11 so you right click you go to display display settings now let me make this bold now under your display settings you come to scale here scale here this option here scale now sorry now you click on this you see my recommended scale is 125 percent you click on it then you take it to the lowest that your system has the lowest so you click on it you see what it does you see it has scaled my system down you see though some people might not like this but this is the only way you can go about it it's too tiny some people might not like it but to me i like i even prefer this than that bold i like things being tiny so this is just basically what you can do in your settings under the scale and out uh, layout now you close it now you see everything on my desktop is now small small yes and they are now small small but i will still teach you a trick how to make it big so let's continue our tutorial now you click here now you see my davinci now is now small so you just make it bold you see i make it bold now it's still like that it did not solve the problem did not solve so what's the wrong what's wrong what's the problem okay just relax you know at the beginning i did something i went to the workspace i clicked on it and i went to reset ui let's try it now let's see what will happen boom it has fixed this is the interface we all know it has fixed this is it everything in place it is no more crashed like before it's no more crashed now let me show you something where you for the people for people that are using um um to screen if you are using to screen to edit if you move this to your next screen i'm not using to screen at this moment if you move this to your next screen you find that everything is scattered again everything is scattered again so whenever you go you just come and reset it will just fix it by itself so this is the first trick 
So this is basically the first trick to go about it. So um we are done with this. Now let me show you let me show you some extra this if you are new to DaVinci now when you load up DaVinci for the first time you get something like this and this is not my workspace like if you are following my tutorial you know that this is not how I edit on my edit page now to fix this long bar here to make it short like my own just come here here and click on it back on. you see it's now full now here inspect when you click on inspect if you click this it will be long click this to be short so some people like it like that let me import a file so that i can demonstrate let me just bring in one file here quick so now this is a file so you see if you want to do a quick editing like uh stabilize to stabilize these shots you stand you can just do it or you just do like me that always like strolling you stand so and again this clip now let's take for example now that this clip this clip you want to know the method of this clip you want to know what is being shot on the the frame per second and some other little tiny details you just right click you just click on it you go to metadata here and click now you see this clip is shot on 30 frames per second it's a full hd clip the audio is for 4800 hertz it's a two channel and like that this time it's 11 minutes video like that this 20,629 frames, stand like that. So the audio beat is 32 bits, it's recorded in 32 bits, like a progressive 8, 8 bits, and uh, this thing 5. So this shot is being taken from Samsung Galaxy, yes, stand, but I don't really know the version of the Samsung Galaxy. But there's something I discovered Do you know that Fimora, Fimora is very good. Fimora. Now let me see if I let me import this same clip in, on Fimora. I don't know if I can still figure out that uh, Fimora. I saw something on Fimora now. Now the thing off me like the thing went. Fimora. Um. I I don't know if I can see it. Oh. Uh, it's, it's metadata. It will show you. So many the metadata of the this thing. Yeah, under property, you click on it. This is it. To show you a lot of things. Just almost like um uh, Da Vinci. Just almost like Da Vinci. So like I was saying, um so you just use this to to figure out this stuff then um you if you follow me very well you know that i'm a one screen man yes i don't do two screens like um like this now though so it's easy fixed you can either do it like this you understand or you leave it as therefore the way it is then when you open this it turns to one then you can use this to do your preview you understand so you can follow my channel for more of awesome tutorials, I will teach you tricks. I dive deep. If you look down, you see a lot of softwares I do, I use. So there is one more thing I want to show you on DaVinci before we go to the next thing, which is rescaling. Let me rescale this first, then I'll now go outside my DaVinci to my desktop and show you how to rescale. So here, there are a couple of ways. You can do it manually, you see. You can do it like this. You see, if you want, if you don't want the thumbnail at all, you can do it like this. Or you simply just drag it little, 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 little. Yeah, uh -huh. this is the thumbnail. Then you drag this one little, 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 little. You see this? Yeah, this is good. You can, you can work like this. This is good. Or you come here. Then you select a default, something like this, or like this. You understand? You select a default settings. You can make this big. 
you can make this pronounce this this i don't know if you can see this if you, if you can see this i see it it's sharper when it's like this so this is full screen and you see i prefer it this way then this is where you now okay let me show you this is where you do your settings that's dragging i was talking about this is it here then you can come here and you know I'll do basic things you can come here and do like this one has no thumbnail understand this one has no thumbnail no matter how you drag you must see thumbnail this one this one too has no thumbnail so like that so let me move this to this side this one does not have thumbnail at all but this one has thumbnail from the beginning it's a black thumbnail so but this one is the whole thing so just do your scaling and you're good to go if you want the full screen you do if you want this you do uh, this timeline this time this is supposed to be for another video understand what all these things do but let me just show you this one is to remove just like this place i remove the thumbnail understand bring it in now this one is this one is for uh, like stereo it's a reflector non non it's not say re rectified wave like you see it just give you one side if you disable it we enable it to give you the dual side like a mirror then this one is a uh, uh, more is it called subtitle track you understand so and stuff like that so these things to come later so now when we started this video all this was around here at the edge and they were big so to fix this it's just simply you highlight all of them you take them to where they were before you understand just take them to where they were you understand but that means you can be here then you you can highlight or hold down control and roll your your button you see you hold down control and roll your button your 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 mouse wheel sorry you hold down control and roll your mouse wheel you see you can even go smaller than itself i even like it like this i like it being very tiny you understand so anyhow you want it your hold control and your mouse wheel you solve the problem so i say i'll just give you this as a trick you understand so easy to resize like for those that would not wouldn't like the this thing so you see this is just basically it so um like i said i did a i do a lot of uh, tutorials as regards to da vinci photoshop you understand but if any software you see here and you want me to do a review though some of them i do not know them too well like fl I do not know FL too well. Script writing, I I can help you, but the thing is that I I don't I don't really upload the tutorial here. I've not started the tutorial, but I can still do something for you and like that. Okay. Please kindly subscribe if this video is valuable to you and like and comment. Comment. Tell me. If there is any other way you know about it, how we can fix this problem, you can comment down. I would like to know. Thank you.